cross products cross product of two vectors suppose this is a vector this is a vector p and this is the other vector q originating from the same point suppose this point is o and the angle between them is phi then cross product of p and q is defined as p cross q is equal to magnitude of p times the magnitude of q times sine of the angle between them times a unit vector which is perpendicular to both p and q okay now if this unit vector is perpendicular to both p and q there are two possibilities one the vector is into the plane of the board the other vector is out of the plane of the board the symbol goes like this suppose uh, an arrow if you take an arrow or and you look from this side what shall you see the arrow is coming toward you right so so if the vector is coming out of the board that means you are looking into the board and the vector is coming out of the board the symbol will be like this again if you look from this side you will see the feather from this side okay so the feather how shall you see it's just a cross and so you just see the feather so it is going away from the board it's away from you so it's going into the board so the symbol is like this so this is into and this is out now this n cap is the unit vector which is either into the board or out of the board that is the only two possibilities if the resultant vector is perpendicular to both p and q fine now which shall i take into or out the rule is rotate the first vector first vector which is the first vector this is the first vector and which is the second vector this is the second vector so rotate the first vector through the shorter angle so as to coincide with the second vector that means you have to rotate p to meet q q is the second vector through the shorter angle this way you must rotate p to meet q this way not this way not this way this is the bigger angle not this way this way you must go okay so rotate the first vector through the shorter angle so as to meet the second vector the direction of the tip of a right handed screw right handed screw rotated in that direction
gives the direction of the vector fine the direction of the tip of a right handed screw rotated in that direction gives the direction of the vector that means you have to rotate the screw like this rotate the right handed screw i think you have seen right handed screws um, all normal screws are right handed screws right ha huh. the opening of the tap if you open the tap if you rotate the tap in an anti clockwise fashion the tap comes up that's why the water falls there are very few screws which are left handed and few screws are intentionally made left handed i show you one this one this one this um uh, this is whiteboard marker camlin this screw is left handed if you rotate it anti clockwise it will not open you have to rotate it clockwise see i'm rotating it clockwise and it's opening up why you know because while teaching we may have a habit of opening this absent mindedly suppose we are thinking something and we just rotate it and it comes up right we have a habit of opening it in a anti clockwise fashion but what even if we rotate it in an anti clockwise fashion this will not open this will only tighten right so it is intentionally made left handed this is a left handed screw but i think this one is right handed so if you rotate it in an anti clockwise fashion no this is also left handed these are intentionally made left handed because you, this is art line intentionally made left handed because absent mindedly if you rotate it it will not spill over the ink is full it will not spill over so this is the reason so right handed screws all normal screws are right handed screws if you open a tap so tap comes up so you open it anti clockwise tap tap comes up so the motion of the tap is up motion of the tap is up right so here in this case end cap will be here you are rotating in a clockwise fashion see p to q is clockwise so if this clockwise so end cap will be so end cap will be into the plane of the board right so this vector this is a vector product the resultant of p cross q is a vector this is a scalar this part is a scalar scalar times a unit vector unit vector doesn't have any dimension all the dimension is carried by this magnitude part p q sin theta and see if this is length and this is length this is basically the area this p cross q is actually the area of a parallelogram made by p q and you translate this q and translate this p you will get the area of the parallelogram i'll come to that but first just understand the direction this is very important i am repeating the statement rotate the first vector through the shorter angle so as to coincide with the second vector this is the first vector this is the second vector you rotate it this will meet the first vector will meet the second vector the direction of the tip of a right handed screw you tighten a right handed screw like this this will go in so the direction of the tip means the tip of a right handed screw rotated in that direction gives the direction of the vector fine so this gives you a direction i'll show you uh, another figure let me draw another figure then we'll be able to understand uh, how the direction works so let's erase this you understand this this p and q is on the plane of the board 
but I want to draw a 3D figure so that P and Q comes out of the board. So suppose I drawing my right hand. It is a little folded right hand or anybody's right hand. I am not an artist, so please forgive me for that, but I hope you will be able to understand. And this is the thumb finger. So this is your right hand. It is folded. Okay, this is your right hand and it is folded. This finger, these four fingers points the direction of rotation. Now, if this vector is P and this vector is Q, both coming out of this plane of the board so you are rotating from p to q right you are rotating it from p to q so this is you are rotating like this and this thumb will give the resultant vector p cross q I think you understand. You should rotate. This is the shorter angle phi. This is the shorter angle phi. This is the shorter angle phi. So the end cap, the unit vector end cap will point perpendicular to this plane which contains P and Q. And it will point perpendicularly up. So here P Q sine phi n cap. Okay, I think you got the direction. This is very important. If you rotate it, rotate it from P to Q through the shorter angle, this thumb will give you the direction of the resultant vector. This is cross product. See, the resultant is a vector. The resultant is a vector. So this is also called a vector product. This cross product is also called a vector product. There is another name for this uh, cross product. You see the resultant vector is not in the plane of P and Q. The resultant vector is not in the plane of P and Q. It comes out. So this is also called outer product. This is also called outer product. Fine. I shall show you in the um, next video how we calculate this P's uh, cross product and get the area of a parallelogram made by P and Q. Thank you.